What's going on guys? Coach Speens here and today is our final episode of our Fight Camp Planning mini series. Um, so today we are going to be bringing everything we've talked about over the last five weeks. Um, we'll be bringing it all together for a full camp overview. So by the end of this video, you're going to get a pretty clear idea of how we train our fighters from the start of camp all the way through early camp, mid camp, and late camp. Um, so we're going to be going over how we do our strength training, how we do our energy system development, and then also how we manage training load and fatigue across fight camp. So let's get started. All right, so there's our title. We're bringing everything together for a full camp overview. Um, our main goals during fight camp are to prepare our fighter for the specific demands of his or her upcoming competition. And we want to improve our fighters' fitness and manage their fatigue levels so that way we can peak their fitness at the appropriate time, which is going to be fight night. All right. And then we're also going to kind of hold a perspective of we're not going to try to do everything. All right. We're just going to provide the icing on the cake, um, and that is their skills training. So if, the, if their skills training is the cake, our job is just to put icing on that cake and fill in any potential non-technical training gaps. Um, so we're going to be looking at the athletes training with their team or their coach or their time on the mat. And then we're going to be looking at what areas of their energy systems, their strength um, are missing or kind of what areas are not getting developed. And so that way we can focus on developing those energy systems and then developing those specific types of strength that may be lacking in their skills training. And then lastly, we're going to be managing training load and fatigue across camp. And one of our rules during camp is that energy system development is going to take priority to strength development whenever we're um, either short on time or our athlete is coming in fatigued. If something's got to go, it's going to be our strength training. It's not going to be our conditioning or energy system development. All right, so now that we have an idea of what our goals are, let's take a look at what this is going to look like when we bring it all together. So, I'm going to move this up here. All right, so we've got everything split up between early camp, mid camp, and late camp. Early camp is going to be about 12 to 8 weeks out from competition. And like we've discussed before, our main strength focus during this phase is going to be force production. So we're going to be using heavy compound lifts that are going to be pretty generic. And then next for our energy system development, we're going to be targeting all three, but our aerobic energy system is going to take priority, especially if the fighter comes into camp a little bit out of shape. Um, so we're going to be focusing on force production, and then we're going to be focusing on the aerobic energy system development. All right. And then so down here, we've got a couple different qualities that we're going to be looking at or um, of things we're going to be aware of as we manage training load and fatigue. It's going to be volume, intensity, specificity, and then we're also going to look at the relative fatigue levels and fitness levels of our fighter across each stage. So in early camp, the volume, we're going to be focusing on accumulating volume. So it's going to be about a medium range on the volume, and intensity is going to be staying pretty low as we accumulate more volume through this phase. We're going to keep our exercises pretty general, so we're going to be doing big general compound lifts that are not that are not very specific to their sport, so that way we can really get kind of larger adaptations and more general adaptations during this first phase. Our athlete is going to begin to experience a moderate level of fatigue, um, but as fatigue levels rise and our athlete gets better at handling that fatigue, their fitness level is also going to increase, so they're going to have kind of a one on their fitness level. Next, whenever we shift over into our mid camp, we're going to be lowering the force and increasing the velocity with our strength training. So we're going to be focusing more on power development. We're going to be doing things like a trap bar clean or a dynamic bench press or a landmine press. Um, and then for our energy system development, we're going to be prioritizing the lactic or glycolytic energy system. And if you remember from previous week's 
the lactic energy system provides energy for high intensity efforts lasting from anywhere from 20 up to 90 seconds. Um, so we're going to be doing things like aerodyne bike sprints, uh, medicine ball throws or jumps, um, anything working for that 20 to 90 seconds so that way we can develop this energy system. We're going to be increasing and really peaking our volume during this phase of camp. So this is when our athletes are going to have the highest amount of training volume. And then we're also going to be increasing the intensity of our training sessions. And so that could be either with our movement density, so the amount of exercises we have in the workout. Um, but in particular, we're really going to be increasing the intensity by moving these loads faster. So we're going to be overcoming moderate loads at a higher velocity. So things are going to get a little bit more intense because we're going to be moving weight with more um, we're going to be moving weight with more intent, um, but it's going to be higher intensity movements so that way we can get a little bit more neural adaptation rather than a structural adaptation that we were really focusing on in early camp. Um, and then also our exercise specificity and energy system development specificity is also going to increase. So we're going to be doing movements that are more similar to the sport that we're preparing for. And then if we get down here to our athlete, we're going to be looking at the fatigue and fitness. And their fatigue is going to be the highest it will ever be during camp. It's going to be during this middle camp. Um, so this is really a tough portion of camp where the athlete is working through a lot of fatigue. Um, their fitness levels are going to be increasing, but they're not really going to be able to express that fitness because they're carrying so much accumulated fatigue over the last four to eight weeks of training. Um, next, we're going to be moving over into late camp. And this is their final phase of camp where they're getting close to competition. So we're really going to be decreasing the force a lot for our strength training, and we're going to be increasing the velocity. So we're going to be focusing on very explosive movements that are targeting top speed or close to those um, higher velocity movements. So these will be things like medicine ball slams, throws, punches, really focusing on redirecting forces as quickly as possible. Um, and then for our conditioning, we're going to be focusing on the alactic energy system, which is going to provide energy from a split second up to around 12 to 15 seconds. So we're going to be keeping the conditioning very short, but very intense and very explosive. We're also going to be dropping the volume during this phase so that way we can begin to lower the fatigue levels and begin our taper. And this taper is what's going to allow us to peak our athletes' fitness while we decrease their fatigue. Um, but during this taper, we're going to be dropping the volume, but we're going to maintain or increase the intensity of the exercises. So it's similar to um, getting to very high RPMs in a car for a very short amount of time. So if you have a sports car that can go from 0 to 60 in 2 to 3 seconds, um, that's kind of what we're going to be looking like. We're really going to be focusing on producing forces very quickly, very um, explosively, but we're also going to be allowing for a lot of rest and we're not going to be working into too high of volumes so that way we can lower the fatigue as we go into fight week and fight night. We're also going to be having the highest degree of specificity during this time. So our exercises for our strength training and our exercises for our energy system development are going to be very specific to our sport. Um, so for our alactic conditioning, rather than doing six second sprints, we may do a six second sprint on a heavy bag, or we may have them do um, takedown fit ins with a partner for six seconds. Um, so that way we're getting more specific to what the athlete's going to be doing in their competition. And then lastly, when we're looking down here at their fatigue and fitness, where their fatigue levels are going to be dropping because we're going to be performing a taper, and then their fitness levels are going to be improving and peaking. And so our main goal, and this is kind of showing that we have to have some level of fatigue in order to increase fitness. But if we are to just continue to accumulate and accumulate more fatigue and more training load, our athlete's not going to be able to express their true fitness, which is really, it would be a shame. Um, and so in this, la this last phase of camp, in late camp, we really, um, this taper is really kind of the, uh, 
maybe you could call it the secret sauce. Um, but it's, it's a taper is really what is allowing our athlete to express their peak fitness. Um, and this is when our athletes are really going to be feeling like they're full of energy because throughout this middle portion of camp, they're probably not going to be feeling the best because they're dealing with a lot of accumulated fatigue. But as they get into these last few weeks of camp, this taper is really going to allow them to express their true fitness, which is really exciting to see. Um, but that is our overview for fight camp. And that also wraps up our series on fight camp planning. So we, uh, it's been pretty exciting with you guys. Um, I hope you all learned something. If you have any questions, like always throw them in the comments, um, or get us and shoot us a DM on Instagram. You can check us out at Vanguard Sports Performance. Um, or I think it's vanguardsports.performance on Instagram. Um, and you can also check us out at vanguardsportsperformance.com. Uh, we've got applications on there if you guys want to apply for coaching. We do remote fight camp planning and remote strength planning. Um, and then we also work remotely f to build out nutrition plans for fighters to help you guys with your weight cuts. Um, so if you've got questions on that, check out our website and you can apply through there. But y'all have a good night or good day or good morning whenever you are watching this. But I'll see y'all next time. Peace.